Jay here from On The Rise DJ Academy. We're big fans here of using iTunes to help DJs organize their music. It has very powerful smart playlists and organizational tools which will help DJs in the digital world spend less time searching for tracks and more time being creative as a DJ. Yes, there are people out there who are not fans, but you know what, each to their own. So if you are using iTunes and have been for a while, some of you may have experienced in the last few updates that iTunes has been removing tracks from manual playlists. Personally, as a DJ, I've been using playlists for over 10 years and this has become a very frustrating issue, but I was determined to find out a workaround to share with you. And this is where smart playlists and tags come into play. I'll use my playlist as an example, but you can take what I've done and adapt it to your own library setup. As you can see here from my drum and bass library, you can see I've got three different drum and bass filters, bangers, classics and underground. I've got smart playlists which will capture all of them, but these are the ones that we're interested in. What I've done here is if we take a look at this smart playlist, I've done genre is drum and bass and the grouping contains the word bangers. Now what that means here is that it's going to filter by the genre drum and bass and it's going to look for the word bangers in the grouping. Now the great way thing about this is that you know one song might be you know a banger and underground, it might be bangers and classic. There's ways of kind of being able to use these words really creatively to kind of get what you want. So this means that I can then go in playing a drum and bass set, I want to draw straight for the bangers. I've got all of them right here. If I'm going to play a little bit more of an underground set, one click. And there we go, I've got all my kind of underground ones. You can see here, the grouping is all got the word underground in there. So it's nice and simple. All you need to do is quite simply, just right click on the file, get info, and under the grouping section here, just type it in. There's nothing limiting you to what you can do. You can type it in caps, lowercase. All I do is just separate it with a comma just to keep it nice and clean. And I have started to you do them in alphabetical order as well, just so I can keep on top of it. But realistically, you know, each song is going to have really two, three tags at the most. As I say, you know, this is something that could be adapted, you know, in any scenario, not just for DJs. I hope this video has helped, if you have any questions please do drop them in the comments below and don't forget to keep up to date with all our news, features and DJ and production courses on our site ontherisacademy.com.